Maria Faustina Kowalska, born Helena Kowalska, on August 25, 1905, and died on October 5, 1938, also known as St. Maria Faustina Kowalska of the Blessed Sacrament and popularly spelled Faustina, was a Polish Roman Catholic nun and mystic. Her apparitions of Jesus Christ inspired the Roman Catholic devotion to the Divine Mercy and earned her the title of Secretary of Divine Mercy. Throughout her life, Kowalska reported having visions of Jesus and conversations with him, which she noted in her diary, later published as the Diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska, Divine Mercy in My Soul. Her biography, submitted to the Congregation for the Causes of Saints, quoted some of the conversations with Jesus regarding the Divine Mercy devotion. At the age of 20 years, she joined a convent in Warsaw. She was later transferred to Plock and then to Vilnius, where she met Father Michał Sapako, who was to be her confessor and spiritual director, and who supported her devotion to the Divine Mercy. With this priest's help, Kowalska commissioned an artist to paint the first Divine Mercy image, based on her vision of Jesus. Father Sapako celebrated Mass in the presence of this painting on Mo Sunday, also known as the Second Sunday of Easter or, as established by Pope John Paul II, Divine Mercy Sunday. The Catholic Church canonized Kowalska as a saint on April 30, 2000. The mystic is classified in the liturgy as a virgin and is venerated within the Church as the Apostle of Divine Mercy. Her tomb is in Divine Sanctuary, Krakow Le Juniki, where she spent the end of her life and met confessor Józef Andras, who also supported the message of mercy. The formal beatification of Kowalska involved the case of Maureen Degon of Massachusetts. In March 1981 Degon reported a healing, while she was praying at the tomb of Kowalska. Degon had suffered from lymphedema, a disease that causes significant swelling from fluid retention, for decades and had undergone 10 operations, including a leg amputation. Degon reported that while she prayed at Kowalska's tomb, she heard a voice saying ask for my help and I will help you, and her constant pain stopped. After two days, Degon reported that her foot, which had previously been too large for her shoe because of her body's liquid retention, was healed. 58. Upon her return to the United States, five Boston area physicians stated that she was healed, and the case was declared miraculous by the Vatican in 1992 based on the additional testimony of over 20 witnesses about her prior condition. On this day event is an educational project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.